In this video I'm going to explain what a customizing is, which kinds of customizings are possible in Empower, and how you can work with them. Moreover, we're going to take a look at the chart settings of Empower. First of all, let's start with the basis. What is a customizing? A customizing includes the definition of a color palette and different other settings. Those could be, for example, the font type, font sizes, default font colors, and so on. So this whole set of definitions is called a customizing. Furthermore, there are two types of customizings. Firstly, a fixed customizing, which in most cases is created according to a corporate design guide that comprises several colors, fonts, and so on, that should be used solely. The second kind of customizing is the so-called flexible customizing, which is also called Use PowerPoint Master in the software. A flexible customizing adapts colors, fonts, etc. to the current PowerPoint Master. I'm going to illustrate the difference between those two types of customizings via an example. On this slide you can see a chart that uses a fixed customizing. You can see this in the properties menu by clicking on change customizing and now you can see the customizing that is used and I could also change the customizing to the flexible customizing if I wanted that. If I now copy this chart and paste it into the next slide that as you can see uses a different master the colors, fonts, and so on stay the same because the same customizing is still used right here. So a fixed customizing stays the same no matter on what master I put it on. Now I'm going to do the same, only that this chart right here uses a flexible customizing. So it is set on Use PowerPoint Master and you can see that it looks a bit different than the customizing we've taken a look on before. If I copy this chart and paste it into a slide with another master, the chart will now use the customizing that belongs to the master. Depending on what was agreed and created during the onboarding project, you might be able to use flexible and one or any number of fixed customizing whereupon the minimum would be one customizing, whether this would be a fixed or a flexible customizing. The maximum would be several fixed and the flexible customizing. If your fixed customizing is bound to a certain master, which would be an onboarding decision too, then that customizing will always be used as default when working in that master. This applies no matter what the user sets as his or her personal default customizing. You can see in the chart's user settings, which we're going to take a closer look on later in this video, that the default customizing is here set to use PowerPoint Master. But when I insert a chart while using this master, which has a fixed customizing that is bound to it, so I insert any kind of chart right here, this chart will use the corresponding customizing because it is bound to the master I'm currently using. But the user always has the possibility to change the customizing of an existing chart afterwards. So this whole point is only about the default setting. When you receive a chart with an unknown customizing, for example from another company that also uses Empower, you will be asked to apply a customizing that you have on your PC before working with it. However, you could also leave the chart as it is if you don't want to work with it. The next topic of this video is charts user settings. First of all, where can I find the charts user settings? If you only use Empower Charts, you can find them right here in the Insert section in the Empower Charts menu. By clicking on the split button more, you can access the Charts user settings right here. If you use Empower Slides too, you can also navigate the Help section of the Empower ribbon and click on Charts user settings right here. 
And the first setting that you can change is the default customizing that shall be applied. And you already know how this works from the previous examples in this video. Uh, secondly, you can decide if you want to activate or inactivate the live update mode or ask for updates. If the live update mode is active and I have Excel links in my presentation and then I change something in the linked Excel file, these changes will be transferred to the respective linked chart, table or text. Note that this does not work for images that are linked to Excel files. They have to be updated manually. Moreover, we created a whole video on Excel links if you'd like to get further information on this topic. Right here you can choose what should be selected firstly when you click on a data label or data point in your chart. If you select points first, you can see that the first click, for example, on this data label only selects this very data label. And if I click once again, all of the data labels of the respective series are selected. But I could also switch this setting to series first. And now the first click selects the whole series. Right here I have the possibility to set the default Gantt region which affects the default number and date formats. Note that this can be changed while creating and working with Gantt charts. And there's also another video on Gantt charts if you'd like to get further information on how to work with them. If I select preload charts right here, the charts are loaded when entering the slide, which increases the performance while working. This is why we recommend to keep the preloading switched on. If I deactivate the preloading, my chart will be loaded firstly when I click on it and it takes longer until I can work with it. In some rare cases, it can be helpful to turn the preloading off. This can be the case if you're working with many shapes on top of charts. On this exemplary slide, you can see that we have this shape placed right here, but I can't access or select it right now. Therefore, I have to turn the preloading off, which I can do by firstly clicking anywhere on my slide so the action bar disappears. And now I can access this eye symbol and simply click on it. And now the preloading for this chart is deactivated. And now I can select the shape and move it around as desired. Note that when the preloading is switched off, I can still work with my chart. There's just a small delay. If you're using a lot of shapes in many charts, it might be helpful to turn the preloading off in the charts user settings. So I don't have to click on the eye symbol of every chart. But in most cases, this isn't necessary and not helpful. I hope this video helped you to understand what a customizing is, how you can work with the different kinds of customizing and which charts user settings you have while charting in Empower. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.